Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to talk about the humble capo. Capos, capos, capo regime, right? Um, they are so important. Um, in my days um, playing session guitar and doing studio work, the capo has always been a part of my tools, especially when it comes to acoustic guitars. And sometimes when you just want like certain voicings, uh, you will employ the capo uh, because you just needed that voicing. Like, for example, if I want to play like a G, a simple G, you know, I could always like, you know, um, capo just to, or rather capo just to something else, and I could just play G, and uh, I would have like different voicings. You radically change the whole feel of the song. So the capo is a really good um, tool, especially when uh, you just need a different feel. Like for example, you could just play, uh, you know, a, a track in G, and then you kind of like uh, double track it uh, in the same key G, but with a different voicing. Maybe you know, like what I've just done, I'm actually playing it in the um, in the E kind of format but in the key of G, so I have different voicings. But the sort of capos that we use is very important. There are capos that are meant for live work, there are capos that are meant for studio work, and there are capos that are meant for electric guitars, there are capos that are meant for acoustic guitars. So in order to understand this um, whole thing about capos uh, fully, I thought I'll just do this video to kind of show you uh, what are the various capos. Now the first capo I want to show you is this from Planet Waves. This is a dual action uh, capo, which is one of my favorite. I kind of like this a lot. I employ this a lot for my acoustic guitar, especially for this um, Anya when I'm playing uh, live. Why I like it is because there is a uh, adjustment here for how uh, tight you want this to clamp down on your fretboard. Now. The thing about uh, a capo, about using a capo, is that you don't want your capo to be too uh, forcefully forcing the strings down against the frets because you're, you're going to have problem in uh, strings and, and tuning because once it's clamped down too hard, and then you, everything tends to go sharp, and then when you kind of tune it uh, to what you want, and then when you take out a capo, everything is flat. <laughs> so it's really irritating. So what I am looking for is a capo that can allow me to adjust the tension on how much this uh, whole thing is pushing down against the frets. And this is so good because you, you know you can actually kind of like adjust the torque, uh, you know the amount of tension that you're employing 
onto the guitar uh, fretboard. You know, so I think this is uh, kind of like um, obsolete right now because they are coming out with different models. So if you are able to find this, it'd be great. But I think they have like a, a later iteration of this, which is just as good, I think. I haven't tried it, so I can't safely say that it's just as good. But they have a, a, a later version of this. The next one is from Shrub. Now, Shrub is a company that does a lot of stuff. They they they, they manufactured um, capos, you know, um, uh, sliding bars, you know, uh, slides for 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 steel string and stuff like that. Um, this is nice. This is the uh, Shrub CP1 uh, capo in uh pearl finish. Really nice. So this is like the later version. This is the earlier version, which I acquired many many years ago. Um, they come in two uh, versions, one with a slightly curve for electric guitars, like a 7.25 or even a 12-inch fret radius. Yeah, this will suit. This is more flat. This is mostly meant for acoustic guitars. And the reason I like this a lot is because of the way um, it works. You know, you have a... There's no spring involved. Again, you have a sort of adjustment for you know for how you can kind of clamp down in this, and it will just stay there. So this is good when you are are doing a a, a song, and you know that the tension is going to be like that. So you kind of like clamp it down and just um, push it in, and you're in business. And then you can do another part, and then kind of like go back to your normal voicing. And then when you want to do another part with the capo, all you need to do is just put it in and it just remembers where the tension is uh, and it works perfectly. So the thing is that you can adjust it in such a way like, you know, like the ones on the Planet Shaker the, uh, to, to kind of like uh, adjust the tension so that it doesn't push too hard down against the fret so it doesn't go sharp. So the tuning still remains true. I like this a lot, you know, so I use this uh, a lot for my recordings, especially when I'm doing sessions. So, yeah, something to consider. The next cable is this Victor Curve cable from Jin Dunlop. Uh, again, it comes in two versions. This is a slightly curved uh, version, which I procured many, many years ago, about 25 years ago. Now, they have new iterations of it, the new versions. They have a, a flatter one and a curved one for electric guitars. I like this because you have a a screw here where you can adjust the tension again it works like you know the, the previous uh, cable where you can kind of adjust the tension and um, it's easy to use just clamp on down right just just put it here and just adjust the tension accordingly so it doesn't like go too hard and then everything goes sharp it's just nice right. yeah it's cool that is really easy to use. So if you're looking for a dependable uh, and easy to use couple, this is the one to look for. The next one is this capo from Guitar X. I don't think they sell this anymore. Uh, I've tried looking for it in Amazon and I, I, I don't find any seller selling this. This is really expensive when I bought this. I don't know why, because of the finish and everything. Now this works with a spring, right? So. Uh, great for live playing because all you need to just clamp down and I guess there's a lot of couple right now from Planet Waves or even Download that has the same concept where you just clamp down on where you want it to be and then you can kind of strip it you know? so um, the, the good thing is that it's, it's easy to use especially when you're doing a live gig the only con is that there's only a spring here. There's no uh, way for you to adjust how much tension you're gonna put against the frets. And in time, the spring might just kind of give way and you're gonna lose tension. I've used this like for like about 10 years. Uh, so far it's retained enough uh, tension because I don't use this a lot. Uh, I use this live, uh, especially for electric guitars. And um, like I said, you know, the only con is that it, it, it can adjust the tension. But when it comes to using it uh, live, yeah, it works, you know, quick. This concept is really familiar because you're going to find a lot of capo that works on this concept uh, where you just press and then just kind of shift. So there are many in the market. Last but not least is this G7 uh, Performance 3 capo. Um, this is in 65K finish. <laughs> um, you're interesting, you know, if you kind of like um, head on down to the website and look at the videos, there's a lot of technology that goes uh, into this uh, little capo. What it, what it does is that there's a 
sort of a, a lever, a, a lever here where you can, you know, and you just kind of clamp down and adjust accordingly, and it stays in tune. So, what happens is that within that, um, within here, there is a lot of adjustable, uh, kind of like pads where you kind of conform to where your strings are so that it doesn't uh, press down too hard on certain strings and, and, and go slack on certain strings. So it's kind of like uniform. And the fact is you can actually use this one hand if you want to, you know. So as long as you clamp down properly, and then if you need to kind of like um, hit on to another, just hit on down and then just clamp down. Right? So you can operate this uh, with one hand if you need to. The only cons about this is that sometimes when you're clamping down, you're not clamping down enough, and then some of the string will bounce. So this is not good when it comes to live situations. So you gotta be really sure how much you're clamping down, and once you're, in, you know, then it's it's relatively easy to kind of like switch around. So all in all, I think this is kind of innovative in a way, and uh, yeah, it, it, the tuning doesn't really run a lot. I believe this is great for live performance, um, but I prefer this, uh, this this sort of couples where I can adjust the tension for recordings and um, more dependable in a way. So with all these capos around in the market, sometimes it gets a little bit uh, overwhelming. Um, but just remember what you are using these capos for. If you're going to buy a capo for electric guitar, you got to take into consideration um, the fret radius of the electric guitar. So sometimes you, if, if you're going to you're going to encounter a fret radius of 7.25, which is kind of curvy, then you need a capo that has that curve profile. And if you're going to buy a capo for an acoustic guitar, you're going to have a flatter. Our fret radius, so you're gonna get something that is suited for the acoustic guitar. And then, then again, there is the classical guitar, which is really flat. So there are capos out there that are suited for classical guitars. Now, my favorites are the Shrub CP1, right, and the Planet Waves, which is um, not in the market anymore. I like this, even though there is a spring loaded here. But you know, the spring is—I mean, this whole thing is pretty well designed. And I like it because I can adjust the tension. And for the shrub, it's so easy to use and really attractive and not too overwhelming. It doesn't take out a lot of space. So, it, 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 yeah, it's nice. And I, I use these two uh, mainly for this is for recording and this is for live playing. So, I hope this video is helpful for those who are in search for cables for the electric or for their acoustic guitars. And uh, I want to thank Miss Janet from Davis Guitar for passing me the CP1 as well as the G7 uh, 65K uh, capos for this video. Yeah. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and join this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of the patrons to support this channel. Uh, I would appreciate it. I want to thank all my patrons for the love and support. Thank you guys. So in the meantime, you guys please take care of yourself. A great day, Chi.